Welcome to the Electro Auto Report. Usually we do our clips in German only, but today we wanted to change that because we did a rapid gate test drive yesterday and due to the huge interest in this topic on an international base, we decided to do an English version of this test uh, clip as well. So let us take a look into our testing setup, into the conditions. We drove a 189 kilometer distance from Munich in Germany to Bregenz at Lake Constance in Austria. Of uh, these 189 kilometers, uh, 170 were the so-called German Autobahn. Um, and on this German Autobahn we drove a maximum speed of 130 kilometers per hour. Um, you know many Parts of the Autobahn in Germany are without any speed restriction, but we decided to stick to the recommended um, speed limit of 130 kilometers per hour. The outside temperature has been uh, around 17 degrees at, we, uh, at the moment we started in Munich and in Bregenz we had 19 degrees Celsius after arrival. On our way back uh, we had 20 degrees Celsius as we started and back to Munich we had 25 degrees. Our average speed was far below the just mentioned 130 kilometers per hour. On our outward journey we had 85 kilometers per hour in average. The way back was quite uh, slow with 72 kilometers per hour. We drove the Nissan LEAF with the 40 kilowatt hour battery and we had a OBD dongle and uh, the LEAF Spy app on Android running so we could really measure the uh, data, the statistics of the battery management system all the time. Now let's take a look into the data we collected while driving and while charging. We started in Munich with 100% state of charge with a full battery and had a battery temperature of 16 degrees Celsius. After 189 kilometers we arrived in Bregenz with 35 degrees Celsius and 13% state of charge left in the battery. Instantly we connected the car to a Shademo charger after arrival and started charging with the just mentioned 35 degrees Celsius battery temperature. What we saw was an instant reduction of charging power. The charger itself had a possible charging po uh, power of 50 kilowatt. We only got 36 kilowatt due to a reduction because of the high temperature in the battery. As we were charging, the battery temperature went up to 45 degrees Celsius at a state of charge of 50% and still charging with 36 kilowatt power. After this, we saw a decrease of the power it went down to 32 kilowatt at 75% state of charge. The battery temperature went up to 50 degree. And then a further um, decline of power could be noticed. At 82% uh, state of charge we had 27 kilowatt still rising temperatures. And at the end at 95% state of charge we had a charging power of 13 percent uh, kilowatt. Sorry for that, and more than 51 degrees Celsius temperature. So what we found out with this at this first charging stop was the 35 degrees Celsius temperature in the battery caused a reduction of the charging power down to 36 kilowatt. Although the temperature grew to 50, almost 50 degree, the battery management system did not decrease 
the charging power until we went above 50 degrees Celsius. Then it started to cut off the power more and more. We then took a break and had lunch for around one hour. The, we stopped Shadamo charging at 97% and in our lunch break we charged up to 100% state of charge via type 2 um, plug. After one hour we went back to the car and started our journey back to Munich at home. We started at uh, again at 100% state of charge and had a battery temperature of 46 degree. So the temperature went down around 5 degree on the Celsius scale uh, while we were having a one hour break. Then we were surprised by the power consumption on the way back. On the way from Munich to Brigens, we could drive the whole distance non-stop and still had 13% state of charge left. Around at the middle of our um, journey back, we saw that the power would not be sufficient to arrive in Munich. So we had to decide, we decided, to do a charging break in Lechwiesen. Lechwiesen is next to Landsberg, that's a, a beautiful city in uh, Bavaria. And uh, we arrived at this charger with 24% state of charge and a battery temperature of 51 degrees Celsius. So after driving 130 kilometers, we again had a temperature of more than 50 degrees. We plugged in the Chademo charger and saw a charging power of only 14 kilowatt due to this high temperature of the battery. Now compare this to our outward journey. On our outward journey we had a battery power of uh, a temperature of 51 degrees at around 80% state of charge. The charging power has been around 27 to 30 kilowatt. Now on our way back, with the same temperature, we had a charging power of only 14 kilowatt. And this 14 kilowatt uh, stayed stable until we stopped charging at a state of charge of 50%. 50% were absolutely okay for getting back to Munich. So what is the conclusion of this? Comparison. It seems that the battery management system of the Nissan Leaf is quite slow regarding adjustment um, of charging power in combination of battery temperature. In Bregenz, we plugged in the charger at a temperature of 35 degrees, and the battery management system seemed to think that 36 kilowatt power is okay for that temperature. And it then it took a long time to slow down the to decrease the charging power and it did not decrease the charging power at 50 degrees Celsius to the level it decided to start charging at 50 degrees Celsius on our second charging stop in Lechwiesen. So the initial, it seems that the initial um, temperature and battery condition decides about the whole charging process um, and that there is no real-time adjustment um, regarding the uh, battery temperature and the battery conditions. This is not good and this could harm the battery and this could cause maybe battery damage, but it will for sure shorten the lifetime and, uh, of the battery and it will increase the battery degradation. 
We arrived in Munich with 51 degrees Celsius and a state of charge rest of uh, 15%. Our maximum battery temperature was almost 56 degrees Celsius. We uh, had this um, after we left Lech Wiesen charger and continued towards Munich. We saw this temperature. As we saw the temperature rising quite fast, we decided then uh, um, to slow down our ride and we're not uh, driving anymore with 130 kilometers per hour. We slowed down to 110 because we did not want to hit the 60 degree Celsius um, uh, on, uh, at our battery. So what is the conclusion? Well, as we all know, or, or as many of us know, the Nissan Leaf has no active battery cooling. The cooling happens only with the wind and the air uh, that you uh, yeah, get from the outside while driving or standing around. So there is no liquid-based or climate uh, or air climatization, air condition-based um, battery cooling. We see that driving with a speed top speed of 130 kilometers per hour causes a um, higher battery temperature. It went up from 16 degrees Celsius to 35. But we also saw that the charging with Shademo, although it was decreased to 36 kilowatt and not 50 kilowatt, it really blew up the temperature of the battery to a red area. Temperatures of above 45, 50 degrees Celsius are critical to the battery. And we saw that the battery management system of the Nissan LEAF seems to be very slow when it comes to adjustment, real-time adjustment, um, in dependence to the battery conditions. So for this very normal situation, at least in Germany and many other Central Europe countries, in many of the European countries, you have speed limits on highways of 120, 130 degrees Celsius, uh, sorry, kilometers per hour, and you have outside air conditions of 20, 25 uh, degrees Celsius in spring and summer. This is so a typical driving situation. For example, uh, uh, at the weekend, you do a short leisure time break out and drive to a lake, uh, like we did from Munich to Lake Constance. That's a typical situation. For this typical situation, the Nissan Leaf is not the right car, because you have the danger of harming your battery and growing the degradation of the battery and you will face very slow charging speeds when it comes to shuttle mode. Just remember, at the second charging stop, we had a charging power of only 14 kilowatt at a state of charge of 24%. So charging up to 80% would take two hours and more. So thanks a lot for your attention. As mentioned, at the beginning of this clip, usually at Electro Auto Report, we do our clips in German. Leave us a comment if you would like to see more clips, more videos in English language, so we can discuss this in our team and so maybe we can change it and provide some more English information as well. So far, thanks for your attention. Thanks for watching us and have a good driving time all the time. Bye for now.